Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, so this one comes off um, a 2017 mock paper. If y is equal to x to the power of 4, e to the power of 3x, show that dy dx minus 3y is equal to 4y over x. Okay, so when I see this, we need an expression for dy dx, and then we have y, and then we have x. Okay, so dy dx is what we need. So dy dx is a product, two functions multiplied by each other. So uh, u is equal to x to the power of four, v is equal to e to the power of three x. So du dx is equal to take down the power, reduce the power by one, dv dx, I'm using e to the ax to give me a e to the ax, three e to the three x. It's a product, so dy dx is equal to x to the power of 4 u times dv dx plus v times du dx. Just tidying that up, I get what? 3x to the 4 e to the 3x plus 4x cubed e to the 3x. It's just convention that we put the numbers first. Well, I'd put any sign first, then the numbers then typically the x terms, and then the e's, and then any trig terms. It's, it's just convention. It's not mathematically incorrect to write them differently. OK, I'm looking at this now, and I'm wondering, should I simplify it? So I'm just going to put this bit in a bracket. Um, I'm just factoring out x to the power of 3 and e to the 3x out of all of them. So that would leave 3x there and it would leave four here. And the reason I've written it in blue and the reason it's in brackets is I don't yet know if I'm better leaving it like this. I suspect I am uh, so that I can work with terms here or this is how I would give it if this was the only question I was asked. Okay, I would have factored it out and tidied it up, but I have a funny feeling we're better off leaving it as what I've written in black. Okay, so uh, we have dy dx minus 3 times y being equal to 4y over x. So for dy dx, I'm just going to put in the black one for now. So 3x to the power of 4 e to the 3x plus 4x cubed e to the 3x. So what have I done there? That's my dy dx. Okay, that is all. I'm now going to go minus 3y, so it's minus 3 times y, which was given in the question, x to the power of 4, e to the power of 3x. So what have I done there? There's my minus 3y, there's my minus 3y. Okay, um, and then that's equal to, or should be equal to 4 times y, which is y from the question, over x, it's just x. Okay, there's nothing to sub in for x. Okay, so where is all that coming from? Let's pick a different color, orange. Uh, there's 4y over x. There's 4y over x. Y in all cases being here. Okay, so then let's start working with that. So 3x to the 4, e to the 3x, plus 4x to the 3, e to the 3x, minus 3x to the 4, e to the 3x. And I was right, that's why I had a suspicion I'd leave it as black because now you can see things are starting to cancel. Okay, but let's keep going. What do I have here? Okay, well, I can see an x on the bottom cancels with one of the ones on the top. So that's leaving 4x to the 3, e to the 3x. Okay, so what's cancelling? That cancelled with that. So I'm left with 4x to the 3 e to the 3x being equal to 4x to the 3 e to the 3x. Uh, Latin QED is quite easily done is how I remember it, but it's not that. It's a Latin word for uh, verified or complete. If you've enjoyed this video, 
then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.